Hello everyone, uh, this is Dhawal Patel. Uh, welcome to our channel. So today I will show you the church management system. Uh, church management system, WP church management system is the name. Uh, it's very popular uh, church management system and it can be installed on WordPress CMS. So let's have a look how it works and what are the features it's having. So here is, uh, so there will be a login page. Once you log in, this is how the admin dashboard will look like. So you will have all the infographics and how many members uh, and volunteers in the church it's uh, clearly available and donation list so on dashboard you will get the glimpse of everything calendar ministry release groups activities services reservation uh, notices messages so there are lots of modules and it's available as cards now look at the general settings so this is after installing uh, wp church in WordPress. this this is what you have to do uh, first step so you will have your church name address church logo uh, your own branding then localization we have date format if you are in us uh, you can change the date format you can enable notification to receive email notification and also paypal to receive donation so these are the paypal settings you can set your currency then there are other settings like invoice footer and then there are data table, data settings let's come on to exercise so you might have different user roles like family members, accountants, volunteers, uh, normal members, super admin. So we have different access rights available. Like, you know, you can set, view, edit, delete rights for each module. Now let's look at the mail template. So mail template is useful to customize the email notification that goes out from the system. Whenever a new member adds or whenever a new donation is received, you can customize it. And so let's look at the group feature. So, you know, we have members, we have groups, so you can group the members, there are ministries, so you can also add a new ministry and, you know, manage the ministry, the system. And then, you know, there is easy way of getting list of all the members. So these are church devotees and, you know, they come regularly, you keep record of it. This is my favorite part where you can see all the details of church member, you know, pastoral, these pages, family members of that devotee. What are the uh, attendances that they are actually having with the ministry? You can edit the members as well, and every member can be grouped into a family member. So you have child, you have a husband, wife, or father, son. You can establish those groups. We also have accountants, so you might be receiving a lot of donations, so there might be some expenses. So account modules comes handy in that scenario. And then there are services that as can be added, like you know weekly services or something like that. And we have the pastoral module where you know, pastoral listing comes up where you can add and manage the whole pastoral details on it. Then we have attendance where you know you can select activity, date, group, members. So you can get all the attendance for a particular member who is present, who is absent. It's a very detailed one and very user friendly one. Then you also have the ministry attendance wherever you know uh, there, there is a ministry name and you can take the attendance mm -hmm. similarly. You see earlier. You can also define the different activities, prayers, uh, songs, uh, they are, you know, well, then we have the venue, so you know, within the church you might have different venues that uh, fall, uh, courtyard, uh, that can be reserved through reservation module. You might also have the check-in facility, I mean, you know, staying facility, uh, lodging facility, uh, where you can check in the members and check out the members. Uh, maintain the list of who occupied the rooms and uh, so on. Then there might be documents that you want to manage uh, uh, to manage the church. This might be legal document or uh, a religious document. So we also have the sermon list, which is very useful. Uh, and it has the videos, uh, audio features, so which is very useful. Uh, we also have spiritual gifts, uh, different spiritual gifts, uh, figure of Lord. Uh, Jesus uh, that can be added over here uh, and you can also sell these gifts to members or uh, gift these to members there are different options you may charge it you may give it for free uh, and also pledges I mean this is very important uh, where you can actually add the pledges and these are our uh, religious songs uh, devotees use the songs and this is and you know we also have a payment model where all the transaction can be recorded so you can add a transaction, you can raise an invoice if there is an expense uh, that you can also go to that board, there is expense list. You can add income from different sources. Uh, sorry, 
manages your complete income and expenses within the same uh, judgment system. This is how invoice looks like. It's very professional invoice that uh, you can print it out as well in PDF or from the printer. And you can search the transaction. There are also different reports that we have. So you have a tendency report, payment, so you could report in that sense. Payment data, which is in the table format. What are the activities? What is the engagement with the devotees? You can download all these reports. And we have a communication model or notification model where different notices that can be added as an event uh, or if you want to announce something, you can use notice module which goes out to all the members, church members. And you know, there are a lot of other features, uh, but we are running out of time today. But this is very useful for all the churches around the world because it can be customized to your own country currency, language, uh, time zone, everything is customizable. It's very easy to install and have it a go. So I would recommend this church management system. Have it, give it a try and see how it works for you. Thanks for listening to me today. Have a good day.